Welcome to the second video of how to use Vapor. In the first video I gave an introduction about Vapor. If you haven't seen that one, I suggest to see that first. The link is in the description. In this video I will start the first analysis. Uh, I will do that by area time series. Area time series means you'll get values over a period uh, for your own data, what you want for your own area. In this example, I want to have, I want to have a port transpiration data, and my area is in sugar sugarcane scheme located in Ethiopia. First, you need to go to scale levels for your own area because uh, now the largest scale level is active continental. Uh, Ethiopia is also available on 100 meters. You can see that right here. However, the area, mine area is even also available on 30 meters because my area is located in the Awas Basin and that one is also available on Vapor. So I go to the 30 meters layer of the Awas in Ethiopia. My area is located here. So uh, now we can start our first analysis. So I go to the left corner and you click on analysis. You click on select operation, and now you have four options. Point time series, that means you will get a time series for one specific point. Area time series, that means you will get an average value uh, of your whole area. Area water productivity, that means you will get three rosters, uh, one of water productivity, one of biomass, and one of airport transpiration. And last is area roster download, that means uh, you can Download the roster for a specific database. For this video, I will use area time series. In the next video, I will show you area roster download, but for now, area time series. Uh, there are three steps. Step one is layer, step two is place, and step three is parameters. First, you need to choose your own database or the layer. So you click on theme to, to click what you want. For this, Tutorial want of Avapod transpiration data. Uh, you have three options annual, monthly, and decadal. Annual means yearly data, monthly means monthly data, and decadal means a daily, daily data uh, calculated per 10 days. For this example, I want to have yearly data, so I click on annual. Then you, can, then you need to active uh, one layer for what you want. Uh, for this example, I want to have an area time series from 2009 to 2019. So it doesn't matter which layer you choose, but for now I, I just click on 2009. Then you go to step two, the place, select area. My areas means um, your saved areas. I didn't do that, so I'll go to new, to new area. You have two options, uh, you can draw your own area or you can upload a shapefile. For this example, I have a shapefile. Uh, I can show you in GIS. So this is the scheme, um, what I want to upload on Vapor. And you need to do that by create a zip file of this shapefile. So you need to go to folders, to your saved shapefile. I saved in downloads and I called it tutorial example. So you need to make a zip file uh, by doing this. You need to select all files. They go on 7-zip and you click on the, to create a zip file. So now I have a zip file uh, including the save file. So I go back to Vapor, upload save file, also Vapor ask you to select the zip file. So I click on choose. I click on the zip file I want and I will start uploading. Now Vapor asks you, is this your uh, right area? It is, so I can confirm geometry. And I go to the last step, parameters. That's the period of the data you want. Uh, you need to click on the calendar. And I want to have of 2009, so I can click in the calendar, but sometimes it takes too long, so you can also write 2009. 
so I want have data from the uh, of 2009 to 2019 of yearly data. It doesn't matter where you click, but if it's only 2009, it's fine. So I just click on the 1st of January. I want to have data until the last of December of 2019. So I click on 31 of December. Then I click on run operation. The running can take some few minutes, so uh, I will skip this part of the running. Vapor has finished your area time series. So now you click on the green button next to complete, complete it. So this is your area time series uh, of yearly April perspiration data of your own area. So from 2009 to 2019. The blue means the maximum pixel uh, of your area and also the minimum. And the orange line is the average of your, of your own area. If you want to have this data in Excel, you can also download the CSV. You can do that by clicking the chart context menu and download the Excel file. So now you have the same values, um, but then, but then in, uh, in Excel, so from 2009 to 2019, and then you have the average Avapod transpiration of your own area. And then you also have the minimum pixel and the maximum values. So this was an example of an area time series. Um, you can also do the point time series. Uh, it's exactly the same. However, uh, you won't have a minimum or maximum, but only the, the, the point data of your own points. So in the next video, I will download raster files and. Um, so for now, it was the area time series.